Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Well, first of all, there aren't a lot of, there isn't a lot of talk out there in terms of education about gangbangs and there, and there, I don't, I don't know any workshops. I'm sure there are some, but it's not like on the roster when you go to your typical like sex shop or website, like it's just not, people aren't talking about it. Right. I'm, I'm really passionate about this because I feel like we have a very, rigid, stereotypical idea of what a gangbang is. And I feel like it's time to reclaim that. So we don't need a new word or a new phrase or a different thing. I'm saying keep the gangbang, but let's make it much more expansive. Let's create things where people who have different bodies and different sexual identities and different genders and different sexual preferences can all come together and do this fun thing, you know, rather than default to this kind of one woman surrounded by five or more men and they're sort of dominating her and having their way with her. And, you know, that, that gangbang that we think of is just, is very repetitive. And I'm here to say like, why don't we define gangbang as a scene where there are multiple people and they're all focused on one person who I call the one. And then it's literally open to imagination, right? So one of the things I do in the class is I'm I'm talking about sort of like protocols and how to be a good host and, um, and safety issues and how to negotiate up front and, you know, set your limits and how to find people and sort of vet them. Right. So I'm, I'm giving you practical tips. Right. But then as I go along, I also give examples of different kinds of gangbangs that are kind of like outlines for people to then fill in for themselves. So if we were to imagine a scene with multiple people on one and it didn't have the sort of stereotypical elements of a traditional gangbang, what would it look like? So for example, what if there was a gangbang where a guy was at the center of it? Uh, Yes, they call that a reverse gangbang. They call that a reverse gangbang, right? But so... Or what if we had a gangbang where the person at the center was being worshipped mm. and adored and everyone's job was to meet that person's needs, was to tell them that they were beautiful. So verbally, sexually, physically, to just literally lay at their feet and worship them like they were a god or a goddess. Mm. Or what if we had one where people where like people aren't talking. What if like someone wants to have a sort of sensory deprivation one, right? That's more difficult to negotiate because then like you really got to negotiate upfront what the limits are and everyone's going to kind of like stay in line. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and so my point in all of it is to give people like ideas and examples of how they might craft one. I mean, this really all came about when I was planning a gangbang for my boyfriend at the time, who's a trans guy. And I was at a swingers event, which I sometimes find myself at. I was teaching classes there. And this was a pretty uh, progressive swingers event. A lot of people identifying as bi, including the men. And so I went around, I, I, I sort of got to know everyone for about five or six days. Uh, some people I already knew going into it. And then I went around and said, you know, I want to invite you to this gangbang for my boyfriend. And nearly all of the cis men who I asked were like, oh, uh, gangbang? N- no, I'm sorry, no. And I was like, you know, they, they, they're they sexually adventurous. I've seen them around the resort playing and stuff. And I was right. like, why no? And, you know, one of the guys was like, oh, when I get in a room full of that many people, um, I get really nervous and I have like erectile problems. And I thought, wait, 
why do you have to use your dick? Mm. Do you have some, do you have any sex toys? Do you have hands? Do you have a mouth? And they were like, oh, I could do that. And I was like, yeah, you could. And then another guy said to me, you know, um, I'm not really kinky at all. And I'm not into that sort of like dominant alpha male, like I must have my way with you and hold you down and fuck the living daylights out of you. And I was like, right. Did I say that? <laughs> when yeah, I just all of these- gangbang, did, did I say that that's what we were doing? Cause he was like, that's not my thing. That, that's, I just can't, I can't interact with people like that. And I was like, right. But could you interact with people? Like how you sexually interact with people? <laughs> Yeah. So it's like all these stereotypes were coming up. Right. Yeah. And once I said to these people, oh, it's not going to be about that. Right. Um, like, like one guy said, like, I don't have penetrative sex with people other than my wife. Right. So, so they've had negotiated that kind of sexual relationship. And I was like, you know, so no penis and vagina intercourse. And I'm like, why does it have to be that? So I wanted to just expand this whole thing about what it could look like and what kinds of people could be there, what the dynamic is, what the vibe is. Like, listen, don't get me wrong. A a gangbang that involves cis men and one cis woman and they're being super dominant, if it's consensual and everyone's having a good time, I say go for it. I'm like not disparaging the traditional gangbang dynamics. I'm just saying we've got to think about this and we've got to expand the definition, right? And so once I gave people permission, hey, um, I'd like to show up, but I'm, I'm, I have a foot fetish, so I just want to concentrate on the person's foot. Hey, I want to show up. I have a dick, but I want to use my hands and sex toys. Great. I want to show up and just watch and comment. Can I do that? In this case, yes. I love the idea of also having a gangbang with a kind of Greek chorus. Okay, so what if the person's a really big exhibitionist, right? But they don't necessarily want to sexually interact with 20 people. They'd like there to be 20 people in the room. But what if they only sexually interacted with six of them? What if the other people in the room were there to actually provide commentary about what they were watching, how much it turned them on, how hot the one at the center was, right? This is a Greek chorus kind of model uh, of... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sure the Greeks would be like, what the fuck? But that, that's that's the kind of model for another, right? So it's like, oh, you could have a gangbang and not everyone has to even be sexual or have to touch the genitals of the person at the center, right? Mm-hmm. I'm saying like, let's, let's think of everything we can. And once I gave per- permission for people to do it, it was a wildly successful gangbang, if I do say so myself. I'm really good. <laughs> um... <laughs> And it made me realize, hey, you know, I only got to interact with 10 people and tell them what my vision was. Um, Maybe it would be useful to share this with some other people. And actually, one of my inspirations was porn, believe it or not. Mm. So one of the first gangbang porn scenes I saw was um, Shayla Laveau. Do you remember Shayla Laveau? Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank God you do. Cause otherwise I just feel so old. <laughs> no, so, and do you remember the series, the violation of dot, 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 the yeah. violation of Chloe, the violation of Shayla, the violation of Jane, right? Yep. It was a gangbang scene where it's five on one and they were violating the person. And there was like an all girl version and a mixed gender version. Um, so Shayla Laveau did one, I think it was directed by Ernest Green and I had at that point seen gangbangs where the men are in charge, they're aggressive, they're assertive, they're doing their thing. In Shayla Laveau's gangbang, she was like, hey, you, come here and put your fingers in my pussy. Give me your dick. Spank me. She was like sort of shouting orders at these guys around her, right? And I was like, oh, shit. This is, first of all, this is really hot. (laughs) But also, wait, this is different. This is a different kind of gangbang. This is a gangbang now I would call sort of the queen bee gangbang where there is a power dynamic at play, but the person in charge is the one and everyone right. else has to follow her or his or their orders. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. 
If you get it in the Perfect Package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.